Hey everybody, welcome to the video. My name's Steve and if you're new to my channel at the minute we're currently tracing the purchase of my brand new Porsche 718 GTS 4 litre Cayman. And that car has been stuck on part three here in the UK where I'm based. That's where the app starts when you are eventually given a point of schedule for the build. Now, that started for me back on the 25th of March and we've had a couple of false starts. I was given scheduled production dates by the dealer, which meant that it was about to go to production two or three times. And we eventually had the last video where I was discussing the fact that it was hopefully going to be built in the middle of July. Now, I've not given any further updates on that. I have posted a couple of comments and people have asked questions about what's happening with it because quite frankly, I kept getting false start dates and I didn't want to post anything more until I actually saw some movement on the car. So yeah, we are actually eventually here. I have actually turned over onto part four of the app, my Porsche app process. And I'll go through what the dates were, what happened, and give a little bit of information out in case anybody else is still waiting for their car, and hopefully give a little bit of insight into what's happening with production at the moment. So twice in a row, I had my start date pushed back. So originally, back on the 25th, I hit the third point on the app. That was the 25th of March. About two months later, 15th of May, I was told I was gonna to get my production slot to start. Now that slipped, it didn't hit it, it got pushed back a month. Again, didn't hit it, got pushed back a month. And then after that, I was kind of in limbo because I didn't know what was gonna happen with the car, stopped chasing it up on a regular basis because I just got sick of them basically telling me it was gonna get built. And I knew somewhere in the middle of August we were gonna be hitting a factory shutdown holiday that they do on an annual basis. So what happened was I was about to go on holiday and for two weeks I would be away and I thought I'll just check up on the car before I leave and see what's happening with it. And basically right at the end of July, I got confirmation that the dates on their system at the Porsche dealer had not slipped any further. However, they weren't satisfied that it had definitely started. So they couldn't say it had started, but they could say that it hadn't slipped any further. So it was a case of waiting and seeing what happened. So I, just before I went away, I, I rang them up again. I said, has it moved anywhere? And they went, well, it says it's in the body shop. So the fact that it said it was in the body shop was a good thing because it meant it had started. It also meant it was gonna be an unknown thing as to whether the car was actually gonna make it past the end of the production line before they had this factory shut down. So I was just left waiting to see what happened. Now. It got stuck at the body shop and never moved. Now, that was all the way through August. Obviously, in the middle of that month, they had their shutdown. So I was left in limbo. I went away on holiday and I just waited to see what was going to happen because, quite frankly, they just didn't know the dealer. They had no further updates. They said that basically they were chasing up lots of people's cars. They had to ring a few people up to say they just weren't getting their car because there must have been issues at the factory. I know. A lot of people have commented on a lot of the other videos saying that I've been into order my car, I've been to put my deposit down, I can't build it with the Bose sound system, I can't have it with the LED lamps. It just stopped still. So what happened was I came back after my holiday and that was around the 19th of September and I gave them another ring and much to my amazement, this car had actually moved. What they told me was that, I don't know if this is correct or not, it wasn't concrete information, but they said, what happened was they had the factory shut down and whatever was being built in the middle of that shutdown got moved. Now, they said they think it got moved up to the production line where the Cayennes are built, which is up in Leipzig. And apparently they moved all the equipment up there, they moved the cars up there, and my car seems like it got built half at one factory and then finished at the other factory. Now, what they told me on the 19th was they actually could see on the system that it had hit a checkpoint, and that checkpoint was that it was finished and in the compound outside the factory. So the 10-day build process that they usually think these cars take from start to finish, which is why I was given a start date of the 15th and an end date of the end of the month for it to hit the checkpoint, didn't actually happen. Now, it doesn't take much to think about to say that the 28th of July to the 19th of September is not 10 days. So... I know I got held up by the August holiday shutdown, but that is a big time frame to build a car. So obviously that would explain why it took so long and move factory. But I'll show you as well, we're gonna go into the app and part four is supposed to show me production photos of my car being built. Now I think if it was on the normal production line on the one it's supposed to be on, 
they must have still cameras at certain points on the production line they take photo of every single production car going through and then it assigns it to your app it doesn't look like that's happened with mine i've got one i think and then i've got another one that isn't probably a proper one and then i've got some stock photos so let's take a little look at that i'll show you the app at part four you can see what it actually looks like and i'll show you the photos and kind of what happens once you move on to that point so we're logged in this is the my porsche part of the website it looks very similar on the app on your phone if you're using it on your phone it's just a slightly different layout but as you can see we've now hit point four now the interesting part about this is once you hit point four it would seem that the generic image that i had of a gts that happened to be silver as well i'll show you a picture of that one there from part three before this updated you can see that i've now got the actual spec of my car so it's now got the black wheels on it that's the correct style it's my color and if we flick backwards you can see that i debadged my car and it is basically looking exactly as I configured it. So we've hit point four now, part five, that should be the next bit, is gonna be the final steps before delivery. Now, if we go in here to look at find out current phase, you can see that we're now, congratulations, we're there, and now have a VIN number, and we've basically had the car produced. So these are the pictures that you would probably see from the factory, you can see they're all nicely done and lit, and everything looks nice and then you come down here and there you go so i should have some photos in this section here so there we go that is my car halfway down the production line i'm guessing it hasn't been married to the engine yet it has no drivetrain or anything we can see that inside the car if i try and zoom in a bit more that's a really sharp photo it's quite good for high res isn't it so we haven't got all the interior in yet. Looks like we haven't got anything to do with the center console or anything in, but the PCM and everything's there. Looks like I've got a set of keys there as well. And that is the nicer photo that I've got out of the two. If we take a look at the other ones. So this is the other photo that I've got, which is basically of my car. Now, it... I'm guessing this is after it moved. I'm guessing this is it on its other production line because the lighting on this picture ain't very good. And I feel like somebody just took this with a camera phone or a digital camera at the end of where it is. And I've, I think I probably should have had some more photos in this, but obviously it hasn't happened. And if we go down the bottom there, you can see your 718 has now been prepared for its journey to you in the Porsche. Sentinel will contact you when your vehicle is ready for delivery. So on the 19th, I was told by the dealer that the car was in the compound at the factory, ready to leave. On the 22nd, this updated itself, which obviously probably meant it was checked on the system and it was leaving the factory. And on the 23rd, I got a phone call from the dealer saying it was at the port, ready to leave to come to the UK. I was then told on the 28th that it arrived at Grimsby. So at the moment I'm sitting waiting for a car that may have left Grimsby, that may be at the dealer, maybe on its way to the dealer. But I did get told by the dealer at the moment that Porsche seemed to be pushing quite hard to get these cars delivered as fast as they can. So it looks like it's probably gonna make its journey from Grimsby to the dealer and then into my possession fairly quickly from this point because they're not really turning over a lot of cars and I was told they're probably going to be able to turn it around in 24 hours by the time it arrives so I wouldn't be surprised if I get that car well before this updates itself to 0.5 or it might be that 0.5 happens when they ring me up to tell me to come and get it.